Sal Grover is the founder of female-only networking app called Giggle, which she wanted to be a kind of safe space for women. And when a transgender activist called Roxanne Tickle tried to join, Grover said no. And Tickle is now taking it to the federal court, claiming discrimination. But Grover now plans to go all the way with a constitutional challenge, if she must, to defend her right to have an app just for biological women. And Sal Grover joins me now. Great to see you again. What is the argument you are going to put to the court? So the initial claim was uh, gender identity discrimination, and now it's gender identity and intersex discrimination. So it's sort of ever evolving. But this case is about sex, it's not about gender. I discriminated on the basis of sex. A woman is an adult human female, and that was accepted by everybody until men decided that they wanted to be women. And the only way for a female-only space to exist is if it excludes males. So we're going to be arguing that. And then also um, that CEDAW, which was created to protect women from all forms of discrimination does not cite gender identity as an innate attribute um, of being a woman, which now, is basically uh, a fancy way of saying men are not women. Exactly right. So it seems to be a court... If courts are going to be asked to decide if what a woman really is to see whether you're discriminated against one, it seems to me. Um, uh, but I noticed a constitutional law expert, Professor uh, Greg Craven, suggested, well, you know, the definition of woman is set in stone legally, so uh, your, your chances are slim. What are you going to do if it fails? I mean, it seems crazy, but what are you going to do? Um, so we will appeal to the highest court in the land. I mean, women's rights are too important. The truth is too important. I mean, there is many, many times in our lives and in, our, and in the day where sex is irrelevant, I mean, but when it is relevant, it's the thing that's the most relevant. And that could be when you, who you're dating, who you're going to get married, pregnancy, I mean, who is going to play for the Wallabies or who you're going to enjoy watching playing for the Wallabies. Just sex is important to everybody, to males and females, even if they're not comfortable with the sex that they're in. And so we have a lot more information about this on our crowdfund because, um, we, have, because we have to raise basically the better part of $500,000 to protect women's rights this in Australia. Incredible. So the crowdfund is gigglecrowdfund.com. Sal, this is just so astonishing that you can't run your own website choosing who you wish to be on it without having to spend half a million dollars to defend that right because some people don't agree what a woman is. I mean, seriously, don't you think the whole thing's a bit nuts? I think it's completely nuts. I think... And I think that the law is based on evidence and there's just no evidence that men are women. I mean, you can try and destroy women's rights. You can try and destroy women's spaces. You can try and, and insist that men are women, but at tomorrow morning, men will still wake up men. The truth will still be the truth. Reality will still exist. There's nothing you can do to change that. Yeah, well, the law sometimes, as they say, is an ass. So let us see what happens with your case. By the way... In the United States, there's been a huge backlash to the decision by the, by the beer, by a beer company that makes the one that makes Bud Light to hire a transgender activist, quite famous now, Dylan Mulvaney, who's been a woman for about a year now, to promote its beers. Here is Mulvaney. This month, I celebrated my day 365 of womanhood, and Bud Light sent me possibly the best gift ever, a can with my face on it. Check out my Instagram story to see how you can enjoy March Madness with Bud Light and maybe win some money too. Love ya! Cheers! I should have said it's a year since Dylan Mulvaney said they were a woman because they haven't had to snip nothing, uh, even if you think that makes the difference, nothing. Uh, since that deal was signed, the backlash has been huge. You've had drinkers switching to other beers. Um, you've had the singer Kid Rock shooting cans of Bud Light in protest. And the company's shares have dropped so much it's worth nearly $5 billion less. What do you make of all that? Yeah, I mean, Dylan has had quite a few endorsement deals um, in his year of girlhood. Um, and so he's, he was hired to promote this product that is you know, typically um, marketed to men and the world has uh, suddenly set up and noticed. But um, just before it, he was advertising for Nike and then afterwards he was doing for Ole Skin products, which obviously were for women. Um, and he was also at one point the face of um, 
Tampax tampons. So you can imagine how um, <laughs> women felt about that. So it's all a ridiculous joke, and I think that more people should wake up, pay attention, and if you support women or you are a woman, speak up about this. It's really important. Yeah, I must say, though, that, uh, you know, the shooting business and all that, I just thought there is an element of meanness about some of that, but uh, essentially, as a marketing exercise, it's been a complete frost. Sal Grover, all the best with your court challenge. Uh, let's see if you can change the, the definition or keep the definition of a woman. Thank you so much for your time. Really appreciate it.